Hey all! So, continuing our NG Skin Tools introduction series, and before we start looking closer at plugin features, I thought it would be a good idea to first understand how it all works under the hood. So, in your typical rig, you would have your joints, they would connect to a skin cluster, and the skin cluster then connects to a mesh shape. When you edit weights using Maya tools, um, they all get written into skin cluster. Joints provide uh, transformation, and uh, uh, this all together provide mesh changes. Uh, well, mesh shape changes. So when using NG skin tools, it's just a little slightly different. Uh, so first, when you click init layers, a new node is created and you can see it here it's uh, connected to a skin cluster via message attribute uh, via message connection so when uh, editing weights in uh, in the in the skin tools UI for example painting layers you read and write from uh, this custom node um, these operations trigger real-time updates to a skin cluster and uh, it's a slightly complicated process but to put it simply when you paint on a vertex uh, NG Skin Tools recalculates a flattened value of all layers on that vertex and writes an update to a skin cluster and it all happens in real time so this means that uh, skin cluster always contains a flattened copy of uh, the information stored in NG Skin Tools data. So this means that at any point in time you can actually delete this custom node and your rig will perform just the same. It's just that you lose all your information. So you usually would do this step when you want to give your rig to let's say animators that don't have your plugin well uh, ng skin tools plugin installed um, there's a, even a menu button menu, menu item for that called delete custom notes so when you're ready to publish your rig just click uh, uh, this menu item it will say that uh, do you want to delete those notes and when you do your rig is ready to uh, be shared this also means that when you have uh, the ng skin tools data attached to a skin cluster you should not edit weights in skin cluster anymore directly because uh, the next time you update data here it will overwrite anything that you modified here so it's a one one way update uh, this um, again, uh, <coughs> this should be very friendly with uh, any export tool that uh, uses uh, skin cluster data, let's say exporting to game engines. So these, uh, these tools should work just the same. So now that you understand how plugin works, uh, should answer some of the common questions uh, people have about it. Um, and now we're ready to have a closer look at individual features now. So let's do that in other videos.